Welcome to this three-part e-learning module titled Introduction to Microscopy. In part one, you'll learn why the light microscope is an important scientific tool and how it works. Complete a short quiz after each part to earn a certificate of completion. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered what tiny living creatures or bacteria may be lurking in your average pond? Looking at a sample of pond water in this glass, we can't really observe the tiny things floating in the water. But with the right scientific tools, such as a light microscope, we have the magnifying power to view a sample of the cells in this water. Learning about cells is an important link between the study of whole organisms and molecular processes, including genetics. This is a fundamental concept in biology. At the end of part one, you will be able to define microscopy, explain why biologists use a microscope, explain in simple terms how a light microscope works, become familiar with basic terms related to microscopy, and compare and contrast the two types of microscope slides used in biology. Biologists use microscopes and the tools of biochemistry to study cells and identify different kinds of bacteria. A microscope is an instrument used to view tiny cells. The science of investigating small objects using such an instrument is called microscopy. A light microscope uses focused, visible light and lenses to magnify a specimen. Light microscopes send light through a path that first focuses the light into a tight beam and then passes that light through a specimen on a slide, which creates an image. That image then passes through one or more lenses where they refract, or bend, the light so the image is magnified. Because light needs to pass through the specimen, it must be very thin and transparent. Light microscopes can magnify effectively to about 1,000 times the size of the actual specimen. Biologists use various techniques to enhance the contrast and enable cell components to be stained or labeled. The resolution of standard light microscopy is too low to study organelles, but we can see the plasma membrane, chloroplasts, and nucleus of many organisms. In these lessons, you will learn about the binocular compound light microscope. Binocular means this microscope has two oculars for viewing a specimen with both eyes, and compound means this microscope uses two sets of lenses, the ocular lens plus the objective lens, to magnify the images. Later, you'll learn to use this information to record the total magnification of your specimen by multiplying the magnifying power of the objective lens times the magnifying power of the ocular lens. The three principles of microscopy are magnification, resolution, and contrast. Magnification, an increase of an object's size or the process of enlarging the size of something. Resolution, the measure of the clarity of the image or the minimum distance of two distinguishable points, how clear and visible an object is. The better the resolution, the sharper the image. Contrast. Visible differences in brightness between parts of the sample. Working distance. The space between the end of the objective and the specimen. Depth of focus. The vertical distance that remains in focus at one time is called the depth of focus. You have to focus up and down using fine adjustments to see all planes of a specimen. This is especially true when using the high power objective lens. Field of view. The span that you can see when you look through the microscope. The field of view will decrease as the magnification increases. Knowing the size of the field of view is useful when observing specimens because it will allow you to estimate the actual size of the object being viewed. Microscope slides are small, thin pieces of glass used to view specimens. There are two main types of slides that we will be using. Prepared slides. Purchase specimens that are labeled and sometimes stained. Wet mount slides. Slides that you will make fresh in the lab. A specimen and usually a drop of water are placed on the slide along with a cover slip or cover glass. 
In your general biology lab activities, you will be using the light microscope to visualize prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Learn simple staining techniques to see key features of cells and compare and contrast plant and animal cells. Next, complete the part one knowledge check. Good luck.